Welcome back to Comic Book History. This is episode number 15. In this one, we're going to talk about Hawkman. And officially, there have been at least two people to officially take up the name Hawkman Carter Hall and Katar Hall. There have been a couple filler ones who claim to be Hawkman. But, uh, yeah, I should point out those two people who claim to be Hawkman are Fel Adder, who was kind of like a fill in one. Never an official one. And Chow Adder, who is also known as the Golden Eagle, who was... He was the psychic slash apprentice for the second Hawkman, which I'll get to in the next video. This one's all about Carter Hall, the original Hawkman, created by Gardner Fox and Dennis Nedville. I mean, his first appearance in Flash Comics number one... And he, and this was his, basically his solo feature in this book. And he appeared in every single issue. Him along with the Golden Age Flash, uh, Jay Garrick. These two are really good friends, basically, when they're part of the, when they basically help form the JSA, in All-Star Comics number three. Uh, pretty much even after some of the other characters, some of the characters got their own spin-off books, Hawkman never got one. Basically, Carter never got one until the 2000s. Written, well, the first half of the series written by Jeff Johns. Which we'll get to that one soon. Um, <clears throat> and he pretty much, well, helped form the JSA in issue 3 of All-Star Comics. And he was the only person to stay in the book. He appeared in every single issue um, during when the comic was published during the Golden Age. Uh, back in the 1940s. Well, even when the book sees publication issue 57, the book came back with issue 58 in the 1970s. Hawkman continued to appear in the book until the book was until the book was canceled and the characters were transferred over to all adventure comics where the feature was wrapped up with six issues. But Carter Hall basically went on various adventures as Hawkman. Now his outfit, I should point out, his outfit was simply this. Uh, it looked a little different nowadays. People wouldn't think of it. Uh, for one thing, the, the mask wasn't all the way. And his wings were basically like straps, uh, were basically held on with like like a strap belt. Uh, and his and his and his pants were green, with like red underwear over it and red boots, with uh, gold um, outline on the boots. That was his attire. Uh, both him and his uh, Silver Age reboot uh, pretty much had the same outfit. So they did change Silver Age reboot. Uh, in the 80s when they rooted him with the Hawk World stuff, which I'll get to in the next episode. But the thing with Hawkman is he's such an awesome character. I should point that out. Um, he had a few... The Carter Hall one did have a few villains. Uh, the two most noteworthy ones he had were Half Set, Monocle, and The Gentleman Ghost. These three were the most prolific ones he had during uh, the Flash comics era. He fought these guys at least two or three times. Half set not only fought him, fought him in his original appearance, he also fought in the pages of All Star Squadron, a book which was simply a retcon book written by the awesome Roy Thomas. Which Hawkman is doing a good chunk of the series. He was also technically a founding member of the All Star Squadron. He wasn't always active with the group due to the fact they had the character uh, basically stop wearing his costume and simply fight in the war. I think he joined the army last time I checked. Yeah, I think he did. Mm -hmm. But even after he stopped, when, when the character stopped appearing at like toward the end of like the first half of the Golden Age, the character did reappear as part of the annual team ups, and he appeared a good chunk of them. Uh, there was one slight problem though. Unlike some of his other members, fellow JSAers, he never appeared in pages of Hawkman, the the Hawkman comic book, which was published at that point. Which we'll get to that in the next episode. Um. He didn't finally get a chance to do a team up with him into the 1990s, when he finally got a chance to meet the Hawk World version about partway through the Hawk World comic book. He did reappear several times. He even had a brief thing where he merged with um, that Hawkman and and that and his Hawk Girl, which was always Hawk Woman, um, become this Hawk God type of thing during Zero Hour, and of course they were eventually got rid of it. And later on. Um, that particular Hawkman sacrificed his body to allow Carter Hall to live and simply put Carter didn't really care the fact that he had long black hair. He hated the black hair. 
He didn't mind having a young body again. He just didn't like the black hair. I'm trying to think. That before I get 2000s, there might be some things I may have missed. Let's see. Outside of the regular team-ups, he didn't really do very much. Uh, nothing really much solo-wise what he did. But um, let me think. That Was there anything else for... Oh, yeah, he appeared in the last days of the JSA special where he disappeared. Where was retconned at 1950. Apparently, he disappeared for over 30 years until the events of Armageddon Inferno, which he came back in. And he popped up in the Justice Society of America series uh, in uh, Justice Society of America Volume 2. He did appear in Volume 1 when it was uh, an 8 issue limited series where he appeared for about half of it. And. It started as a spotlight book and then later on became a uh, group book. And here's the thing. All eight issues took place in the period of one day. Yep, one day. Um, also, I should point out that um, Hawkman did have a partner, Hawk Girl, which during the 40s, she wasn't technically... She was sort of a associate member of the J JSA, but she became a full member thanks to Roy Thomas. Now, when they appeared in the JSA comic book in the early 90s, the, the 10 issue ongoing series, there was a slight problem. They didn't appear, like, whenever they did show up, they were just there for a quick cameo. It's like, hey, we're here. They didn't do much of anything until the series was almost over when they fought half set again. Yeah. That's what happened with them. Uh, my personal theory is, is that um, the reason why they didn't appear that much is because uh, Ostwender had him as supporting characters in the Hawk World title. That was the only reason why I could think of why they decided to do that. Um, after they got rid of Cater Hall, they, and of course Carter, Hawkman disappeared until like 2000 when he came back in the Return of Hawkman storyline from JSA written by the awesome Jeff Johns, which later led to him getting an ongoing series in the 2000s. For pretty much most of the first half of it, it was written by Jeff Johns and James Robinson. Robinson didn't write every single issue, but they write a good chunk of it. And then after they stopped writing the book after issue 25, the remaining 24 issues were written by Jimmy Palmiani and Justin Gray. Yeah, Jimmy Palmiani and Justin Gray. Yeah, these two wrote the remaining issues. Um, despite the fact the first 25 are really, really good. Heck, um, in the final issues of Jeff Johns' run... In the final three issues, he had a crossover with the JSA known as Black Rain. Awesome storyline, which involved how it it does explain, like if you read like in twenty in in the in the mini in the weekly series fifty two, like at Black Adam is in charge of his own country. Black Rain is the storyline where that actually happens of how he takes control of the country. If you're curious about it, it's, it's a great storyline, and it's been collected a couple of times, so it's something simple you can read very easily. Um, the book became sort of a very weird, uh, weird thing, and also in the 49 issues the book was published, Hawkman only took up his helmet a couple of times. Apparently he didn't like taking off his helmet in public. Oh, heck, he, he even wore it when he went to dinner with, um, Shire's, uh, great niece, who apparently he developed a thing for, which was weird. Yeah, who was, uh, and of course, and this is really weird. Uh, just before the comic was renamed to Hawk Girl. And this is, of course, during the Ranthanagarian War. Um, they had it where Hawkman and the present day Hawk Girl, and this is Kendra Saunders, the uh, version that was later you that was used on the show Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, just before the comic uh, was was his name changed to the Infinite Crisis. Hawk Girl and Hawkman had sex. Yep, they had sex. On a spaceship. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why Jimmy Palmer and, Minnick and Justin Gray really wanted this to happen. Now, during the Johns run, it was basically the way Hawk Girl was written. She wasn't interested in sex with Hawkman. She didn't mind working with him. She just didn't want to have sex with him. She had no interest in love with him at all. Just why we could partner. Yeah. Okay. And it was also explained that apparently the the belts that they wear actually keep them warm. Despite the fact, if you see Hawkman, he looks like he doesn't wear a shirt. Yeah, he shows off his manly chest, his manly hairy chest, like every time you see him. Though he does wear some uh, uh, coat later on, like special armor that keeps him warm. Yeah. 
And also during the Jim and Palmer and Justin Gray run, they introduced this cop who was this, excuse me, this recurring character who was there even after the book was named The Hawk Girl. I should point out the Hawkman uh, during this period was not based out of Midway City like he was originally. He was based out of Rockwich. I think that's how you pronounce the town. Yeah, it's the town that was also referenced on the pilot episode of Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Hawkman is nothing like the way he is in the show. In the comic, he's a badass. In the show, the actor put on okay performance in Legends of Tomorrow. He was he, he was done a little bit better. He put on a little better performance than he did in the two-parter from Flash. But I was happy to see the guy. And he had a cool-looking outfit, too. I'm like, what? what's wrong with this what, what, What's wrong with this comic book outfit? Why? Because it's too silly? But the outfit in the show was fine. But, uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Uh, after the events of Ranthagarian War, for like pretty much over a year for Infinite Crisis, Hawkman disappeared, and the book was renamed to Hawk Girl with issue 50, and the book was canceled 16 issues later with issue 66. My guess is the reason why it was canceled a particular number is because the book didn't sell too well. So they said, and as far as I can tell, they kept the same creative team, even after uh, the name change. The book was still a pretty decent title, nonetheless, and I enjoy reading it. Uh, of course, after this, Hawkman didn't do very much. After the Hawker Arthur finally returned, he just basically says, yeah, I got lost in space and went back on Earth. She was not very happy with him, but she was happy to be reunited with him. Um, after this series ended, uh, for the next couple years, they just kept a little profile showing up in the pages of JSA or Justice Society of America. Yeah, they showed up there, and they pretty much stayed there for the rest of the series up to the Flashback reboot. Uh, they really got killed during the events of Final of Blackest Night. Hawkman came back perfectly fine. Uh, Shira basically came back in the body of Kendra. Kendra apparently committed suicide during the events of Blackest Night, uh, and allowed Shaira to come back in her body. And then pretty much their story was later expanded in the, in the weekly mini in the bi-monthly series uh, Brightest Day, which did which explained that somehow they found the previous bodies of the people they were reincarnated over the years. Also, after the, after uh, Crisis Infinite Earths, they added it where they added they retconned it to their backstory that apparently uh, the first the people that they made reincarnation from. Yeah, apparently Hawkman has a connection to the Thanagarians despite the fact he's human. Yeah, apparently there was a, a Thanagarian couple which came to Earth and they briefly ruled over Egypt. Yep. Excuse me. But, let's see. But then, uh, after uh, Flashpoint, the Carter Hall Hawkman was never featured again. He didn't feature. He wasn't even featured in Earth Two. They did feature Hawk Girl, but as far as I can tell, this one has nothing really much to do. I mean, yeah, it has the same similar name to that of the James Robinson version, except they, for some reason, I have no idea why they did this. Uh, they thought we got to change her skin color, where she looks like she's biracial. She looks like she's apparently she's Egyptian. And she's also she seems like she's by half white half uh, Arabic. That's why she looks. She's she's a very stunning woman, and she, she her alpha is blue. And she's a regular character in the Earth Two comic and the Earth Two Society comic. As for Hawk, man, I've asked if Hawkman would appear in the comic. As far as I know, there was never any plans of him in the comic, anyways. Despite the fact I really enjoy the character, and I I don't have a problem with Hawk Girl, anyways. It's just that they didn't do very much with her over the course. They developed her a little bit over the course of the Earth 2 comic book when Tom Taylor was was writing the book. But then, like, after Tom Taylor left, it seems like half the characters didn't get much developed anyways. So, yeah. So, that's really it when it comes to talking about the Carter Hall Hawkman. Um, nothing really much else. I mean, m mostly everything else I want to talk about Hawkman is mainly the Carter Hall Hawkman, which I'll talk about him next episode. Uh, which I'll talk about the the Silver Age version, the Hawk World version, and the uh, post Flashpoint version. Yeah, the three different versions of this guy. All right. 
So that will be handled in the next episode. But, uh, oh, I should also point out that after Hawkman Volume 3 ended, uh, they did do a minor follow-up to that where they brought back Hawk Woman from that series, and they had her get Hawkman's sword. Yep. But that's it. So, stay tuned for Episode 16. Car Kator Hall is next. The second official Hawkman. Okay? But until then, I will see you there. Bye.